Hey guys, welcome back to another Star Wars 6 inch The Black Series action figure review. This time we got Darth Revan from the Expanded Universe. The uh, fans choice this one. Um, super, super awesome figure. Um, and I was, I was really under the impression that uh, Hasbro weren't going to make figures from the Expanded Universe, now Legends. Um, I always just thought that was part of um, part of the agreement when um, when Lucasfilm decided to start fresh and abolish basically or turn the expanded universe into legends and uh, put it into that sort of non-canon um, under that non-canon banner so uh, it turns out they, 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 they're not that's something that's not beholden to Hasbro um, I'm sure they've certainly got their limits of what they can put out in terms of uh, legends and canonicity and stuff like that. Because we are getting Jaina Solo. Um, it was a fan's choice last year, so we'll probably get that at the end of this year, perhaps. Maybe early next year. Um, which should be cool. Hopefully they do a Jason Solo to go, go with her, depending on um, what variation they do of Jaina Solo. And a Darth Malak would be great to go with Revan here too, so... Nevertheless, it is a great figure. I don't display it with my Black Series figures. I like to keep them with the movies and um, canon stuff, but he looks great on my bookshelf um, with all my Legends novels, all my Expanded Universe stuff. So... That's where I have him, and that's where I'll put Jonah Solo when I get her. I just think it's cool to have him, have him separate like that, and have all the legend stuff together so that's just my my cup of tea um but anyway let's have a closer look so they've done a really good job of this figure um i did get the three and three quarter inch version a couple of years ago i never reviewed it um and i probably should have and i may do one just as a comparison after this because uh, I got that for about $35, which, as most of you know, that figure goes for ridiculous prices. It's highly sought after. Um, great addition to the collection. Definitely not the holy grail of Star Wars action figures, but it's certainly up there um, for a lot of collectors anyway. And if, you've, if you're lucky enough to have two, then, yeah, you're very lucky. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, getting harder and harder to come by. But this figure certainly um, goes back to its roots in terms of its design because the helmet's very different. Um, the hood, I don't know, I haven't tried taking it off. It, it's, at this stage, it's glued to the head, so I doubt there's any full moulding at the back of the head. I haven't had a look at any pictures um, to see if that's true or not, but the armour on this guy is sweet. I love all the sort of... What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the lightsabers out of his hands. We'll get a good look at this armor. So it's something I really like are the rings that sort of flow around the back. And this sort of sash at the front, the red sash, where it really pops as well. Budget Jedi just did a recent um replaced this with an actual fabric and he put wires in it so it was flexible and it was just an absolute genius it looked fantastic i can understand <laughs> it was very careful cutting around that red sort of seam there and i totally understand that i mean this is this is a figure that's going to cost a bit of money in the future um so it wasn't something he wanted to wreck but definitely recommend going and checking that out he did a great job so um, but I don't think the plastic looks too bad. It's a little, it's a little sticky. There's not a great deal of posability in it, but that's okay. So there's the helmet. And if memory serves me correct, it's a Mandalorian helmet from the Old Republic. It's been a long time since I've looked into the Old Republic stories and stuff. They've got the soft, soft goods cape. A little bit of wear and tear in it. I think it looks okay. Um, doesn't look terrible. 
and he's got a sort of softer underskirt which you know we've seen this fabric used a few times and uh, I'm not really a big fan of that I think I would have preferred that even though it's got a little bit more of a gloss to it um, either that or just leave it clean cut because it just it's fraying as I pick at it so I guess you get a bit of playtime out of this it's going to fray and wear out quite a bit over the years so just a warning about that but I mean it looks good see oh, chunks falling out which is a bit disappointing but that's okay underneath we've got his leg armor so he's got basic black trousers at the top of the leg it's still sort of plating on his boots shins and knees same on that leg and on covering the calf But I do really like the uh, molded hood. I think that looks great. Especially the way it sort of flows over back, over the shoulders and around the back. I think it looks good. Wouldn't have objected to a plastic cape flaring out either from that mold. I think that would have looked great. But uh, posability wise, this is definitely definitely the bonus bonus here now we'll take a look at his lightsabers now you're gonna have to forgive me because I don't know the story between both behind both of them so I'm guessing this is his red Sith lightsaber so it's a pretty standard looking hilt but it looks cool um, that will pop out I'm sure yep so our removable blades but it's a nice striking red color and I'm assuming this is his Jedi lightsaber but that's a really cool design something very old about that which looks great I think it's a really cool cool design and again if I just I'm not gonna pop it out but that be removable as well just be careful because there have been a couple that have broken lately not one of mine only one of mine but I was able to fix it because I had a spare but yeah, again a really nice lightsaber so that's sort of cool purple color and he does hold the purple one a little bit better in both hands because it's a thicker blade um, the red one tends to wobble around just a little bit in his hands but it's not too bad. But yeah, really cool figure to pose up. Looks great on the shelf. Yeah, anyway, articulation is as follows. He has a ball jointed head underneath that hood. It doesn't really move a lot. You can probably get it to just twist with your thumb a little bit. So you get a little bit of sideways movement. Um, ball jointed shoulders. He's ball jointed elbows, ball hinge wrists. He's got that torso joint there, as you can see it moving around. Here's the ball jointed hips, swivel cut thighs. He's got double jointed knees and the ball hinged ankles. So, yeah, again, pretty standard articulation for the Black Series. But, uh, yeah, definitely not unwelcome at all because it still poses really well. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Darth Revan from the Black Series. Definitely recommend picking this guy up if you can get him. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until my next video, may the force be with you guys.